Gurma Gutta Kahirlik, Miss Dimitru, a Cade Mila Falcher Road. Literally, that means a thousand welcomes to you. It emphasises the degree to which you are welcome and how happy we are to have you here. I, I might at the outset, as the Kahirlik did earlier, salute your personal success in after a relatively short period in Parliament from 2016 and as, uh, and as the first woman to emerge as the President of the House of Representatives of the Republic of Cyprus. It's a huge personal achievement and I would like to salute that. And I think you're an important role model for women and you make an important statement about the, name, need, for, the need for gender equality and full participation of all of our people in all of our institutions. So congratulations to you personally on that. If I might reference a few things in relation to your visit. Uh, first of all, we have so much in common. The fact that we have two traditions on each of our islands, two distinct cultural uh, traditions, uh, distinct populations with distinct ambitions and orientation towards other uh, powers, etc., that we have the same here. And that, in a way, gives us a commonality and a friendship there. And it, it's worthy that we'd have dialogue in this area as to how we deal with the, our attempt to reconcile the, to, the people who see themselves as British on our island with the people who see themselves as Irish. And, and now an increasing number who see themselves as both. But we need to reconcile those traditions. You too are attempting reconciliation, and there's a lot there for both of us to ponder. I, I think we have one other area of important commonality, of important potential cooperation, is the fact that we're both small states within the EU now. All small states need to be allies in the EU, because we have a community of interest, and we have to watch an over a race to integration uh, by the larger states that could prejudice the, wel the welfare of the smaller states. And I think we should align on that level and we should be conscious of the community of interest we have there. We have a lot in common in terms of trade. Well, currently we need to increase that, but we have 30 million of trade. But what we do have very much in common is the tourism product. And I myself have had the privilege of a few beautiful family holidays in Cyprus, and very many people have been to Cyprus and have very happy memories of those times there. And similarly, I hope that enough Cypriot people will come to Ireland. We, we have two very important tourism products, slightly variation there, but great tourism products, and we should be working on bilateral relations on that, on cooperation on that, as with trade. It's worthy of note that Ryanair are now going to Papas, and that that involves a 400 million investment in your country with 120 jobs and 1,500 related jobs. So I suppose that's another area of cooperation. And I'm also happy that we are on the same page in relation to the barbaric illegal war in Ukraine. And may I say lastly, you're so welcome and I would just like that the areas of potential cooperation and friendship that I addressed, that indeed you addressed in your speech, that we could work on those together with you and with your ambassador and that the friendships between Cyprus and Ireland would go from strength to strength. Thank you. Clearly.